Hey, this is Nultzer, and we are in the Missouri. It's a Tier 9 American battleship. Not blowing any mines with my build. We've got your typical AA extended auxiliary protection for those AA gun mounts, just because I want to remain a threat to the aircraft for as long as possible. Now, granted, there's none in this game, but we get the accuracy, advanced firing, basic firing, concealment. This is just the build that you would go in any American battleship, in my opinion, and it works very well. We are on the map Sea of Fortune, and I'm going to try and head over to the western side of the map. There are a overabundance of destroyers. Let's face it, I'm coming for you. But it's not a big deal. We've got radar completely broken on a battleship, right? Well, you got to know how to use it. Like a lot of things in life, you got to know how to use it. So, the Missouri. It's my money maker, you know, money, money, money. Money. It makes so much money. I I am never going to be in a situation where I'm not going to have credit income because of this ship. Because it's so fantastic. My commander is actually level 18. One more skill point. One more to go. And then we pick up vigilance. And this is my Montana commander. This is my Alabama commander. This is going to be a great commander. And first salvo on the destroyer. Two of the shells stick in the ship. And we do 7,000 damage. Since he's hidden in the ship. And what the? Someone got me. Got me pretty good. 15,000 damage. Showed a perfect broadside to something. Maybe De Grossa or the North Carolina. Either way, I was a little too interested in trying to take out that destroyer. He is dead, thankfully, because my team is so great. I love my team. Even if they're bad. Gotta love your team. Enemy destroyer actually got a little bit close. So people could see him for a split second. And I continued firing at the target. Now, some people ask me, why do you chain fire or why do you go all bore? It depends on the scenario. If it is a destroyer and they're actively maneuvering, and oh gosh, we're gonna get one right on the nose. If I was paying 100% attention to that, I might have been able to dodge out of the way, but I didn't. I usually go all guns fire if I wanna ambush a target, like the North Carolina, and I will do a chain fire on a target that is maneuvering. Usually they know I'm there. And we do pretty good against the North Carolina. I think I traded up pretty well. 15,000. I think he's the one who did it to me previously. And his own smoke is actually blocking a line of sight. Aircraft is actually scouting us. And I'm sure he's very frustrated by the existence of me. I'm going to go bow on. He's going to go bow on. We're not going to really do a lot of damage to each other. Of course, he does 13,000. Hmm. Enemy destroyer is almost attempting a flank, but I'm hoping my team is not going to just allow him to get me. But I am ready to engage. I am not going to allow him to defeat me. So, I will waste a couple seconds traversing, but I was set up to not allow the destroyer to kill me. You can't rely on your teammates. As much as I wish I could say that, you can't. You can't rely on them to play it as well as you would hope. So always make sure you cover your bases and don't complain when your teammates don't get that target. It's not as important to them that they get that target. And of course, there's more torpedoes. Gonna take it on the nose, of course. No torpedo protection on the nose. Instant flood. Enemy Liberate Mas. Shows a little too much side. And we take him out. About 50% of his life in one salvo. Looks like a friendly has either dropped smoke or is, you know, willing and able to allow me to use it. I'm going to try and get over there. And the Lieberleicht Mass is dead with the North Carolina trying to fire at my front. And here comes some more torpedoes. Man, so much damage. People know exactly what they need to do. It is impressive. So I fire, hoping that I could just penetrate but it all ricochets, basically. I don't know, how, how did I do 4,000 if, if it didn't say, was there a shell that got lost? That was a weird shot, wasn't it? It said I did 4,000 to get all the shells ricocheted, right? That's what I saw. Either way, the guy's dead. 
New Orleans, don't you dare come around that corner. I mean, uh, please, please, I beg you. This is such an obvious position to not come. <laughs> he's, he's, he's coming. All right, well, we're going to aim very low in the water. He is coming towards us, so depress slightly, a couple pixels, and he's gone. <laughs> Just like that. I can't say that I'm surprised. I honestly don't know that he should be surprised as well. Um, yeah, probably a bad place to go. <laughs> He'll probably know that now. At least uh, he should, when you get one shot from an ambush battleship. So I'm going to move forward. There is a Friedrich de Grossa and of course a North Carolina. The North Carolina is much easier to do damage to, but the Friedrich de Grossa is closer and he's lower health. But look at where the North Carolina is going. It looks like we could set up a potential broadside shot. Look at the mini map. Look at how far away he is. Don't run to the island, don't not, sir. <laughs> I, <laughs> what can I say? I, I am reading so many different scenarios. Oh, should I fire on the De Grossa? Should I go after the North Carolina? De Grossa, North Carolina, De Grossa, North Carolina. And uh, he is moving towards us slightly. So I'm gonna try and keep it at the waterline. Keep the guns accurate and true. And oh, ah, oh, oh, juicy. 53,000 damage. He's going to not show his side ever again. I I can guarantee that. <laughs> he is lucky he's alive, honestly. He is very lucky he's alive. If I had my back guns in play, he probably be, would be dead. But I didn't. And that's just the way it works out. On the Germans, it's a little bit different. Don't go for the water line. You want to elevate the gun slightly. You want it to hit the top hull line. There's There's a low armored belt there. Pretty much every battleship has this, but since you can't Citadel, a German, in the, the, the normal sense, you want to protect yourself from all the dispersion. And for whatever reason, he's showing his side again. Can we kill him again? No, we can't. We missed the Citadel there. <clears throat> but yes, for North Carolinas, for American battleships, for Japanese battleships, fire at the waterline. For Germans, elevate it slightly above the waterline. That's how you're going to do the most damage. And, you know, the De Gross is here. We got a friendly, real bro, Boiskavica, ultraviolet. Very pro play by him. Very, very, very nice play. I really appreciate ultraviolet. And we're just going to continue to engage the target. North Carolina's dead. Not a big surprise there, considering how much side he's been showing. And... The De Grossa is dead as well, just before we reloaded. So 138,000 damage done. One kill. Confederate, not bad. That's about two battleships. I'll take that. Contributing that much damage to my team. We assisted in the destruction of a couple destroyers, and I, I really want to drive that home. Kill destroyers. Don't let your team do it. And this is part of why it's annoying to play at tier 10. Because nobody wants to deal with the Soviet destroyers. Oh no, it's not my problem. If nobody deals with it, they just run rampant. If everyone deals with it, they most likely are going to die very quickly. Because the odds would say, if you throw enough at the screen, there's going to be stuff that sticks. And that's the case for the Soviet destroyers. So just go after them. And you saw I did massive damage to them because they were sort of bow on or stern on and oh, can we get a nice water line? He's coming towards us. Maybe I should have depressed the gun slightly more. Uh, hard to say, hard to say. He did have just enough angle, I think, to discourage any citadel penetration there. But it does appear that he wants to continue forward. Maybe he feels like oh, North Carolina can be taken out aircraft of course not an issue not even question no way aircraft could ever be an issue with this build and i i think he's gonna show his side to us <laughs> i i don't know why he's gonna show his side to us maybe he feels like there's no choice but uh we're gonna take advantage of that and fire at the waterline 
here we do 40,000 damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe I could have elevated the gun slightly so we wouldn't slam one ship, one more shell into the water. That one shell would have been the difference between me getting the kill and someone else getting the kill, but I'm not going to complain about 40,000 damage with a salvo, okay? That's like, you play it right, the shells go wherever they go, that's the RNG factor of the game, you just gotta live with it. You set yourself up for success, I was trying to set myself up for success with this New Orleans, because it looks like he wants to do the same thing his other New Orleans buddy was doing, and how do I do that? I'm pressing C to cycle my viewpoint. Your viewpoint, whenever you're zoomed in, sits over your guns. If you're in the Dunkirk, well, they have the same viewpoint. But if you're in something like a North Carolina, a Montana, where there are guns that are on the bow and the stern side, it's a pretty big change in perspective. Sometimes you can engage around an island with two sets, but you can't see your around the island with the other set. So you want to make sure you're not wasting a salvo opportunity. C, C by default, cycles that view. I use it a lot, actually. And it's just one of those things you should know. Just like you should know that HE penetration is calculated by one sixth of the shell's diameter or one sixth of the shell's caliber. I guess it's the same thing. It's, it's a measurement of the size of the, uh, the round, but yeah. You should just know that, Nelzer, obviously. And for German battleships, it's one fourth. So yeah. Oh, is the Rhone? Is he going? He's going over. Is it a citadel? Uh, missed the citadel, but we did do massive damage. And yeah, you see how he's like on the mini map. He looks like he's moving away. So elevate the gun. If he was perpendicular with us then I would depress the gun and aim directly at the waterline. I am looking at the minimap when I'm aiming every single shot, and this should be an easy kill. Easy kill. First shell that goes in goes to the Citadel and kills him. So that Missouri is a pretty good ship, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably one of the best ships in the game. <laughs> we earned Confederate, Devastating strike, high caliber, two kills, eight citadels, 200,000 damage done, 1.3 million credits earned, 2,397 base XP. Solid performance by the Missouri. Not a surprise. I just want to share this game because it was fun and it wasn't on stream. I hope you enjoyed it. 99% of the damage was AP. 1.4 was actually fired at us, so pretty good absorption as well. Almost got that 19 skill commander. I hope this was enjoyable. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time.